This week in West Virginia, Governor Jim Justice delivered his fourth State of the State address to lawmakers and members of the public, where he reviewed the state's progress over the past year and looked toward the future, announcing plans to eliminate the Intellectual Developmental Disabilities Waiver Waitlist and to provide additional funding for seniors and food programs in the state. Ladies and gentlemen, the state of our state is strong and it's growing stronger every single day. Governor Justice also announced a new research facility to advance coal to carbon products coming to Charleston, funding for a second Mountaineer Challenge Academy location in Montgomery, the creation of a narcotics intelligence unit to crack down on drug trafficking, and much more. Also this week, the governor, first lady, and the National Guard welcomed home dozens of soldiers returning from a nine-month deployment to the Middle East. Commerce Secretary Ed Gonch continued his statewide business tour with several stops in Putnam County. <laughs> governor Justice attended a bell ringing ceremony to celebrate the grand opening of the all-new Mountain Valley Elementary School in Bluefield. And the governor joined education leaders for a ceremony recognizing the 2020 West Virginia Teacher of the Year, complete with a brand new car from Toyota. I'm really looking forward to representing our Mountain State, more than 20,000 public educators on that national stage. Joining with the other State Teachers of the Year, we will outline the many challenging circumstances facing public education and work hard toward finding real solutions to benefit all students. You can find more on these stories and many others in our West Virginia Week in Review newsletter.